Hey, what's going on, Learn Cybersecurity? It's been a long time. Apologize for not posting a video here. A lot has happened within uh, the past few months that I have not posted here. As you guys may have known, when I previously left off, I was studying for my Security Plus certification. I ended up taking the Security Plus certification on March 14th um, of this year. I failed it. And failing it was ultimately what led to me passing the Security Plus because I am not somebody who deals well with failure. If I have any control over you know, my destiny, what I want to do with my life, I am going to give 100% every single time. I don't want to take any negative things from the failure. Obviously, it sucks, right? It's absolutely um, like heartbreaking when you fail a certification. And uh, I was definitely bummed out. I was definitely upset. But I knew that this wasn't the end of the road for me. This isn't where I needed to stop. So I used that failure as more motivation to come back, do better studying, and pass my Security Plus, which I did on the 9th of July. So I've had my Security Plus certification for about a month now, and um, I feel really good about it. I told this story on my other YouTube channel. Uh, it's a little channel called IT Career Questions. You guys can check it out if you'd like. Maybe you've come here from there. So anyway, so in being completely honest, the moment that I press submit on the end of the Security Plus exam, my heart was just like going crazy, right? But as soon as the screen came back and it said, congratulations, you passed, I cried. Like I instantly had tears going down my face. I didn't cry like, hysterical crying. I just had tears coming down my face because I was so happy. I was so satisfied in that moment because I knew that all the hard work that I put into this paid off. And even though I failed the first time, I'm so glad I had, I got to experience that failure. I learned so much from that alone, just because I've never gone into a certification exam before. I had no idea what to expect, and that was nerve-wracking in itself. Like, I don't know what that environment looks like um, as far as, like, you know, just how the classroom is set up in general. And I had really had no idea what the Pearson uh, View uh, exam looked like. You know, i would never seen any of this before. So immediately is kind of, uh, you know, just... It throws you off, I think. It threw, it threw me off because I just, I wasn't prepared in that aspect. Um, obviously, I wasn't prepared in, uh, in taking the exam the first time. And another thing worth mentioning was the first time I took the exam, I had about 30 seconds left um, on the time that I was allowed for the exam, which is 90 minutes, before I hit submit, right? So I used all of my time. Like, I almost had no time to review the questions that I, I, I had marked for review, and uh, that was yeah, right. That's nerve wracking right there in itself, of course, just knowing that you're running out of time. You're constantly checking the time. That was my fault. I wish I wouldn't have done that. Second time, I had 35 minutes left. <laughs> I felt confident with many of my answers. Um, some of them I didn't. I obviously went back for a few of them, but the second time around, I was just more prepared. So, as you may or may not know, the first time I I was getting prepared for the exam, I used CompTIA CertMaster Learn uh, for my training. And um, you can find some of Professor Messer's videos within this training. Uh, I also used Professor Messer's videos on his actual um, YouTube channel. And uh, I probably watched those videos like four times, honestly. I went through them probably four times. And I thought I was prepared enough, right? I mean, I used CompTIA's material. I used... Uh, Professor Messer's material, but it wasn't enough for me. It, when I came back and, and after the failure, I re-examined, you know, the materials that I was using. I took a different look at, at different options out there. And ultimately, I was led to IT Pro TV's Accelerated Security Plus course, which is like 11 hours. And I, I mean, honest to, to, to everything, right? Like completely honesty, obviously this... I could say whatever the hell I want on this channel. There's, there's no sponsors. Um, that made a world of difference for me. The, it was huge for me because 
I felt like I got everything that I was not comfortable with. You know, I felt like I was actually more in control. And I took detailed notes of everything that I was questionable about. And I probably had like 50 pages of notes or so, uh, front and back. That was huge for me. Then CompTIA gave me access to their uh, Cert Master um, practice, which is um, basically like it's practice exams, right? It's, it's a practice exam the whole way through, but they give you more information. So they tell you why you got something wrong or, you know, you got something right and give details on that, which is really helpful. I mean, the whole way through Cert Master practice, uh, it's just, they're asking you questions about different scenarios and different uh, technologies and things like that. And it's multiple choice. And... I think I learned so much from that alone. You know, that was huge for me. I, going over all of that, I think that between Certmaster practice and IT Pro TV's content, that made uh, a world of difference for me. And this, you know, no plug to them necessarily. Um, you know, they're not paying me to say this or anything like that. Um, th those are what made the difference for me. And uh, complete honesty, I used, I, I went and looked at other material. Like, I looked at other training providers out there, and I did not feel like the content that I was getting was the content that would work for me or that I would, you know, ultimately enjoy the most. Because, you know, when it comes down to it, if there's a way that you can enjoy learning, then I think you're going to learn a lot better. You know, IT Pro TV's content, definitely more enjoyable. And 11 hours. I mean, it was... It was night and day. It was huge. That's kind of what I want to talk to you guys about and, and tell you about. It's been a while since I reached out to you or posted a video here. I apologize for that. I have an idea on what's next, and I haven't announced this really anywhere, uh, but I have to go through uh, Test Out's pen test course. It's their ethical hacking course. I'm actually really excited about this because it's something that I'm personally interested in. Uh, a personal friend of mine actually created the material for this course, which is a crazy story within itself. But I'm excited to learn about this. I'm excited to dive into this. And honestly, for me, it's a little bit intimidating. And I think there's many reasons behind that that I don't want to really go into. But there's there's definitely a wide variety of reasons why I, I'm nervous about it. But I'm excited for it at the same time. So that's news that you wouldn't hear on the IT Career Questions YouTube channel yet. And um, I'm excited to start learning the ethical hacking course over there. And um, hopefully I have some good news for you guys soon. Otherwise, that's all I want to talk to you guys about today. I hope you uh, enjoy this video and stay tuned because I want to keep doing this. There's more.